My name is Alison. I'm 53 years old and was diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2015. Parkinson's can affect anyone at any age and frighteningly it's the world's fastest growing neurological condition. Researchers believe that Parkinson's is caused by a combination of risks, including genetic and environmental factors, as well as increasing age. Many people think of Parkinson's as being just a tremor, but it's so much more. When I was diagnosed, I was just 46, and I had been experiencing symptoms for three years. It was movement on my right side that was first affected. Gradually, my symptoms progressed and I struggled to write, work, and even carrying out simple everyday tasks became a problem. Medicines like levodopa, which I take, help control some of my symptoms, some of the time, but they don't stop or even slow down the progression of Parkinson's. It's really hard because I know that over time, as my condition worsens, current drug treatments will become less effective in treating my symptoms. Research gives me hope, and because of that, I have been supporting Cure Parkinson's for a number of years now. They're amazing and totally focused on research into a cure. A drug that has recently shown some real promise is called Ambroxol. It's widely used across Europe as a treatment for coughs and respiratory inflammation, but it could have the potential to be a treatment for Parkinson's. Professor Anthony Shapira is a Cure Parkinson's funded researcher. In 2014, researchers realised that Ambroxol could have neuroprotective properties, meaning that it may be able to protect brain cells by helping to break down and clear waste proteins that are built up in the brain as a result of Parkinson's. The findings of a small trial published in 2020 showed promising results, but the next trial, called ASPRO-PD, will see 330 people taking the drug for two years. The trial will look at the impact of Ambroxol on two types of Parkinson's. Those with idiopathic Parkinson's, where the cause is not known, accounts for the majority of people with Parkinson's. It will also look at the 10 to 15% of people living with Parkinson's who have a genetic mutation in a gene called GBA. Genes are the DNA we inherit from our parents. Changes to a gene can occur when the gene is damaged or mutates to alter the genetic message carried by that gene. We also know that the GBA mutation affects the Ashkenazi Jewish community more significantly than the rest of the population. Around 25% of people with Parkinson's in that community carry this mutation, so it's a really key piece of research for them. We all hope that Ambroxol will have an effect on every type of Parkinson's, but researchers are keen to see if there's a difference in these two groups. Just imagine, if Ambroxol does work as hoped, it could change the course of Parkinson's forever, giving people like me real hope for a better future.